Hello everyone, Christopher Beast here, and I have some major news for today's video. The Signalis Multiplayer Co-op Mod is finally in public testing. This has been a project that I've been working on over the last several months, and it's finally in a state that we feel comfortable pushing it to a more public kind of test to really see how it works on other people's PCs so we can begin rapidly accelerating the production of this project into a finished work of art for you all to play and enjoy. This is project is made in large part possible due to the help of some of my very good friends, Frap and Ami, also known as Z. So, over the course of this video, I'm going to talk about how to install this mod. Um, we're going to talk about where the mod is, exactly what's in testing at the moment in this beta build, and then I'm going to close the video out with some plans for the future. So, with no more delay, let's just get right into this. So, first things first. I guess I should kind of clarify what I mean by Signalis Multiplayer Co-op Mod. Uh, if the name isn't self-explanatory, it should be. It is a mod that allows you to play Signalis with some friends, whether that be your friend from halfway across the planet or your friend who's sitting across the room with from you. This mod isn't currently in a state where you can play with more than one friend, but it definitely is something we are considering for the future. Now, before you have 3,001 questions about the exact intricacies of this co-op experience, that's gonna be uh that's gonna be another day's point because really at this point we are so early into testing so early into the build that we really don't know every single detail like for example stuff like friendly fire and stuff like that we just don't know at the moment we still have work to do a lot of testing to do so let's say you're interested in getting that testing you want to you want to see if you can be a part of making this project a reality how do you do that well first you're gonna have to set up melon loader as with all signalis mods this is a prerequisite in order to get into modding, so we're going to really have to do that. But, luckily for you, I will actually drop a nice little tutorial in this video on how to set up Melon Loader. So, Melon Loader is a software that you can install from their website. They have a nice little website, which I will be linking in the description. And the installation process is actually shockingly easy. They have an automated installer, you run the automated installer, you select your Signalis.exe file, but here's the thing that gets a lot of people. You cannot select the most recent version. This is because the Signalis community doesn't run the most recent version. We run a older version, this being 0.5.7. That's the version you want to install in the installer. There will be a big button that says most recent build. You click that one, and then you click the number that says, I think it's 6.1 at the moment. You click that, and you click 5.7, and you should be fine, splendid. That's really all you got to do. That's the entire setup process for Melon Loader. It should work. If you have problems, we'll get to debugging later. But once you've done that, you now got to download the Synalis Multiplayer mo uh, mod. There will be a Nexus link in the description. Just click that link and uh, download it. But there is also something else we're going to have to do. This mod requires a static IP. Now, for those of y'all who are like me and have no fucking idea what the hell that means, do not worry. A good friend of mine, Frap, who helped design a lot of this mod, has figured out a way to uh, get this all working in a reasonable way within the mod. But the TLDR is if you do not know that you have a static IP, assume you don't, and you're going to want to set up a thing called Hamachi. Hamachi it can be downloaded. There's a little tutorial on Nexus. You just download it. You have to create an account. It's free, so just sign up. Uh, then when Hamachi opens and you've downloaded it, you're going to click on the tabs, something called Network. And then you're going to join a room or create a room. If you have a friend who's already hosting, join. If you have a friend who's not hosting, create. Very simple. So either join an existing network or create a new one. And you're going to type in either a network ID and password that you created if you're creating or the one that your friend gave you. You want to save them because uh, you might not be able to recover these passwords if you lose them. So make sure you like write down the ID and password somewhere. And then Hamachi should give you and everyone else in the room unique IP addresses. These IP addresses are then going to be used in the CityMP test config file. There's a little file that comes with the Nexus install of this mod. That's the config file. That's the thing that's the bread and butter that makes this thing work. Um, so if you're hosting, you're going to want to set the first line in this config file to be true. If you're not, then set that first line to false. And the second line should be the host's Hamachi IP address, or if you have a static IP, static IP. When you're both within the same room, press the M and P key at the same time. 
So essentially when you're both set up in Hamachi and you've loaded into the game, do not try this in your menu. Uh, we don't know what will happen. It'll probably crash. Don't do that. Load into the game. Now, testing scope. You've gotten all this stuff. You've set everything up. Everything's great. Everything's splendid. What actually does the mod do at this point is the testing scope. What, what are we testing? Um, because... The whole game isn't done, so there, there is an important reminder that only focus bug reports when you're testing, when you're trying this out, to what is dictated in the testing scope, and in previous testing scopes. Because if you go, hi, fighting Falk doesn't work, we are going to reply to you with, what the fuck, why are you fighting Falk? We specifically said that area of the game's not done yet. So, like, just keep that type of stuff in mind. Um, the testing scope for this build is three parts. One, figuring out if you all understand this installation tutorial that's in this video and on the Nexus Mods page. We want to see if people actually understand how to install this mod and how ways we can improve our tutorial to help people with the installation. Two, how does the mod run on other PCs? Does it cause crashes and frame rate issues? Is it running into issues we didn't foresee? Me and Frat both have pretty decent PCs. Uh, and, and we do want to see how it runs on people with lower-end PCs, but also just people on different PCs in general. Uh, a lot of the testing for CDMP was done between somebody in the Philippines and somebody on the East Coast connecting. We understand that most scenarios aren't going to be as extreme as that, and we might actually see greater performance from people who are connecting over much smaller distances. And the final thing is the Penrose. The initial scene of the game, this being when you boot up and it's the Penrose, that's the only part that's fully coded in at the moment in this mod. That part has progression, that part has everything should be working, like like uh, animations and, and other stuff should be working in that part of the game. So we want to know exactly how it looks, if every single part of that is actually working that we programmed, and that's going to be part of this testing scope. Things that are not in this scope and are known issues that we are currently working on. The lack of a movement animation. I swear if you all spam me with, Chris, why is it teleporting? I will be sad. Two, teleportation for movement. Same as number one. Don't spam me with this. I know this is an issue. We're working on it. Three, the lack of the ability for the mod to handle anything outside of the Penrose and pen hole. We, we know that this is an issue. We, we are aware. We're working on it. We know that you can load into these scenes, but we actually have zero idea what will occur if you do, because none of it is really, like, none of the logic is programmed. Like, you might be able to walk around with Elster, but that, that's not a lot. Um, but that's pretty much the, the scope, the setup, the installation, and all that. Uh, if you are interested in testing this mod and you want to give feedback, kindly give feedback on the testing Discord. It's being VSL. It will be linked in the description of this video. It's linked on Nexus. It's linked everywhere this mod is. Do not give feedback on Nexus because we just don't respond fast enough. And those types of reports are just, it's not going to be great. So with all that out of the way, let's talk about the future. I intend every single week to give an update on the progress of the mod, now that we're in a very stable position. I can't promise that these updates will all be massive. I can't be like, oh yeah, today I dropped 65% of the game in one week. No, y'all, y'all be realistic. But I can promise I can give at least tiny updates about what we know, what we're learning, what we're working on, and exactly how the progress has gone in those things. And that will be a weekly upload every Saturday. I know this one's coming down on a Sunday. I'm a little late to the ball. But it's going to be every Saturday. I'm going to give you all a little update on what's going on with the mod. And, and one of the first plans we really have is fixing the movement animations. And I know Frap is talking about expanding it from just two players to more. And, and we're going to keep you all updated about how that type of stuff goes. But for now, this has been Christopher Beast. I'm really excited to see this mod get tested. I hope all of you are really excited for the finished product that we're hopefully going to be able to create with the help of the community here. Um, and even if you aren't able to mod the game and you're on something like Switch or Xbox where you can't mod Signalis, uh, I, I do hope there is at least a community interest in this idea uh, because it's something I, I definitely think is is nice. It's a new way to play the game. Play it with your friends, you know? Let's go. Uh, and I hope there's a lot of hype in that regard. So, this has been Christopher Beast. I'm sorry if I ramble a lot. There was no script for this video. I was just excited. I just opened the mic. I was like, yo, let's spit some facts. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, or again, message me on the testing Discord. I can reply way faster in VSL than I can anywhere else, because I am chronically online. Um, but until next time, this has been Christopher Beast, and I'll see you all, well, hopefully next time.